Okay, hello everyone. I hope you're all doing well and thanks for dropping by again. So here we are, we're on this underfloor heating job that I was on a while ago. Uh, I stuck in a underfloor heating manifold and an air to water heat source pump. And a few people have asked me to show the install after it's finished. Okay, so I'm not sure what you can see, but I'll just change camera views now and show you a bit. Okay, so here we are, we have a couple of motorized valves here and here. And uh, essentially what they do is one is upstairs that's, and one is underfloor heating, that's this one, and upstairs. When they switch on, say for example when the underfloor heating one switches on, it goes down this pipe and it ends up over coming into this manifold. Okay, so there's the flow into the manifold. Okay, so when this thermostat switches on and calls for heat, it'll go to the controller. The controller then sends a signal, sends power down to these actuators. These actuators are thermally um, powered. There's a little heat pack, it gets warm, it expands and it allows this manifold to activate. Now on this top manifold we send our flow in, it goes you know, down, there's a pump here that pumps down this way. Okay, and we've got our flow gauges on the bottom. Okay, so when one of these actuators lifted, lifts, it's um, connected to one of the underfloor heating circuits. So say for example, you know, this one might be the living room and maybe the kitchen and so on, or there could be a couple of circuits in the kitchen. And if there's two circuits in the one room, essentially what happens is these actuators are linked electrically. You know, they both lift together and allow the, um, the hot water to travel down into the floor of, the, you know, wherever room it's supposed to be. And what happens then is uh, it keeps going through the floor until the floor rises in temperature. Okay, so there's the setup. Uh, we've got underfloor heating, we have upstairs. We have, um, you know, some internal pumps. So this pump, when the, the air to water heat unit uh, sends heat out. This pump will determine whether it's going into the cylinder, you know, the hot water storage, or it gets pumped into the buffer, which is this thing down here. This pump down here then is a heating return. So essentially it returns the cooler water from the floor into the buffer. Uh, and the, the air source heat pump then tries to raise the temperature of the buffer. So essentially the buffer is the heat source for the underfloor heating system and the air source heat pump is the heat source for the buffer. Okay, this, this seam here to the floor is 90 litres. Okay, so there you have it. It's kind of hard to see. But we've got a lot happening in there. We've an underfloor heating system. Uh, we have a controller. We have an air, Samsung air source heat pump. A uh, cylinder, control box. And I'll just show you the pipe work. I have a couple of things to do in there yet. I have to put a bracket on one of the pipes. This pipe here needs a bracket. Uh, I'm going to put some threaded rod between it and the wall. Okay, unfortunately, I don't have my GoPro with me. And uh, okay, I have to put a drain off on that ton dish. Okay, so I'm not sure you can hear me. It's very windy. It's very wet here in Ireland. So there's the outside unit from the Samsung Air Source heat pump that I've done. Uh, tidy unit, a bit tall and all of that, but um, but very good. Not too noisy either. Okay, so that's it from this job. Uh, the underfloor heating is done, the air source heat pump is done and working and I've just a couple of things to tidy up. So if you like the video, please thumbs up, uh, subscribe, share, comment, all of that stuff and I'll see you all in the next video. And listen, thanks very much for dropping by. Good luck.